Malaji. Uh, he teaches PAs and nursing students. He was a professor for 10 years. Um, incredible family. His wife is also a surgeon. Uh, met his, his daughter and son-in-law this weekend, so it was great. I want to welcome Dr. Neil Goodman to the webinar tonight. Dr. Goodman, how are you? I'm doing great. Hey, Gabe, how are you? Uh, welcome great. from uh, St. Simon's Island, Georgia. Yeah, thank you so much for being on tonight. We had such a great weekend together, and I just really appreciate your time being on tonight. I tell you what, before we get started, you know, your specialties in pediatrics and adolescent medicine, can you just take a minute or so and explain to the listening audience exactly what do you do? Well, my day-to-day -day job, of course, is to see families and children uh, ages zero to 21. And uh, I was trained in the field of taking care of babies and children all throughout from the moment they're born to the time that they leave me uh, when they go off to college. So it's a great, great experience, a great uh, job that I do mentoring children, uh, mentoring and teaching and helping parents also raise their kids. Wow, but it's extremely, extremely rewarding. Now, last time I had you on the, on the webinar, I was congratulating you for, for hitting, you know, what we call Premier Pro 4. And since that time, you've nearly tripled, or I, I think you have tripled your, your, uh, your revenues, and, and now you're pushing Pro 6. So I want to say congratulations um, on, you know, these milestones. I mean, this is incredible for being your first time in this industry. So just help everyone understand. Thank you, Gabe. Yeah, it's incredible. Just tell everyone how long you've been with LifeVantage and why you chose this particular company. Well, actually, I came to LifeVantage through my PA, who I'd been working with for the last 18 years. And Debbie Zito uh, essentially got me interested in it. Uh, we were taking care of kids together and uh, she was utilizing the products and really was getting great benefit for herself. And she thought that I would do the same if I would take it. And I uh, didn't hesitate for a moment because I trusted her, had faith in her. And uh, so we together had been using these products with our patients. And so of course, if I'm gonna use it on my patient, I'm gonna explore everything about the products myself and I'm also gonna use it for myself. And I also got some great benefits out of it and uh, really, truly that I didn't expect. And it just escalated from there. So uh, I w I've been very impressed with what Life Vantage has put together as far as a top-notch product and also as far as their commitment to really wellness and health and really putting the best things out there to allow us to, you know, biohack our bodies. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Life Vantage is, is one of the very few companies that actually has real science behind the products. Can you just take a minute or so and just, just educate the listening audience, you know, on, on, on what it's meant by peer-reviewed science? Right. Well, uh, so peer-reviewed science means that the products and the uh, science are actually looked at by researchers across many, many different fields that analyze it and critique it to see the validity as to whether or not it's worthy of publishment in some of the uh, World Trade Organization um, uh, 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 archives, i.e. publish them, uh, be reviewed, be critiqued, be analyzed, uh, because if they don't stand up to the peers, that is other doctors, other scientists, then there is absolutely no value in them at all. And Life Vantage products have gone through a lot of scrutiny and uh, have been peer reviewed numerous times and are published actually at the National Institute of Health and in the PubMed uh, uh, doctrines uh, that are associated with our own government. I, 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 I know for myself, because I, I really value, you know, my health. I've been in the health industry my entire career and it just feels really comforting to be able to put something in my body knowing exactly what it's going to do. And folks, that's what uh, Dr. Goodman meant by peer reviewed. We unequivocally know what this product's going to do when you put it in your body, and it's backed by the top science we have in this country. And speaking about the science, let's kind of 
you know, elaborate. Um, I, I, I asked you if, if you would be willing to come on tonight and talk about what our, I call it the core four, you know, our vitality stack. Uh, would you mind, um, you know, just kind of get your PowerPoint up and would you mind going through those, those four products with the listening audience tonight? Absolutely, Gabe. I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen here and uh, bear with me because this is a new experience for me to use this. Uh, so I'm learning on the fly here and I appreciate the opportunity, but let me go ahead and flip to uh, one of my slide presentations that I use to teach the subject. And I'm going to change over here for a second and flip to my bio screen and flip right off of that. Right. And let me know, let me know if you're seeing this. You, you are coming in loud and, I mean, just perfect right now. Okay, well, great. Um, well, I'm going to take it from here, if that's all right. Um, I'd like to sort of talk about the core four, uh, which is basically the core four products that pertain to our human health and wellness, as well as how it re relates to our aging. And it breaks down into four different areas. Uh, one of oxidative stress, which I'll get into in a minute, uh, mitochondrial function or dysfunction as it will be, uh, the concept of the second brain and how it relates to the use of probiotics, and lastly, the concept of the brain barrier and how omega plus and omega-3 vitamins impact that. So I'm gonna talk mostly right now about NRF2 and oxidative stress. So that's where we're gonna head off to first. And um, let's just talk about what does that mean? I mean, oxidative stress is a word that maybe a lot of people haven't heard, Gabe. And really what it means is what does oxygen do to us? Uh, you know, we need oxygen, right? And, uh, but oxygen can be good or it can also be bad. And if you think about that first breath that we took when we were born, that actually contains only 21% oxygen. 78% of that is nitrogen, it's pretty inert but more is toxic. And in my field, where we study pediatrics, we know for a fact that if you expose a baby to more oxygen than what they need, say 100% or 60% oxygen, you actually incur damage to that child. Those children will oftentimes end up blind. And a lot of times they'll have permanent lung injury that is sometimes not recoverable. So while we need it, it's also slowly killing us. So I want to make that point really strongly here. The oxygen that we breathe in every day is also the very same thing that is ultimately going to be responsible for killing us. And I know that's a really, really uh, emphatic statement. Uh, well, let's think about what oxygen does to other things. Oxygen oxidizes. So its effect on metal is pretty clearly seen. In steel, it causes it to rust. And in aluminum, it causes it to corrode. But our cells are rusting too, and they just rust in a different way. We see them initially as wrinkles, maybe cell damage, uh, inflammation, and that's a real key word in medicine these days. Ultimately, that leads to aging, and then ultimately disease, and then finally the cells die. So essentially, we are rusting just like that piece of steel that you saw, except we're flesh. And just like the flesh of this apple that you see, you, everybody knows what happens when you bite into an apple. You leave it out in the oxygen too long, and then soon it turns brown and it withers. And that's basically what our bodies are doing. So the function of that, what, what causes that is something called a free radical. And essentially free radicals are produced every single day by all of our cells. And they're occurring in great numbers, in the, in the millions. And they're created by our exposure to smoking, uh, ionizing radiation from the sun, uh, UV light, air pollution, uh, just inflammation of everyday wear and tear, uh, as well as, in fact, our own mitochondria, which are responsible for our metabolism. And that DNA that we have within us, that's our code of life, is also damaged by the presence of free radicals. So this oxygen is the common denominator in all of these diseases because of free radical creation. And we're making millions of it every second. So I refer to those free radicals as the bad guys. I try to keep this simple. You know, we gotta get this concept across and I don't wanna get too complicated. So if you think about the scheme of things, you know, we were given um, some tools when we were born. But when we're young, we're given some 
principal uh, means to deal with all of this uh, free radical uh, creation, and they consist of primary internal antioxidants, and that's what's at the top of this triangle. And, uh, but you know, we don't always know what those are, so what we've done up to this point is we supplement our diet with secondary dietary antioxidants. And those are the things that we take every day. You know, everybody wants to take vitamin A and vitamin C. Uh, we'll eat lots of green vegetables and eat uh, carrots, et cetera. I mean, those are good for you, but they can't possibly be strong enough to deal with the insult of millions and millions of free radicals. But in fact, we are equipped with some very, very powerful internal antioxidants that are made by every single one of our cells. And these are really in present in high numbers when we're born. The top of the, of the game here is something called SOD. That means superoxide dismutase. It's extremely potent and can get rid of millions of free radicals in a second. Catalase is number two and also very powerful. And then next is glutathione peroxidase. And these are marked in the increasingly, um, or in order of increasing effectiveness, as you see going from bottom to top. So those guys are called the good guys. And you know, I put a Superman symbol by them because uh, really they are very, very powerful and we want them on our side. So if we talk about what happens though when the free radicals production exceeds our own capacity to neutralize them, that's the definition of oxidative stress. And so when I say oxidative stress, I mean more free radicals than we have the ability to deal with them. So we know, in fact, in medicine that oxidative stress is the main cause of aging and also the cause of over 200 diseases, maybe even as many as 500 diseases. And you can look at PubMed.gov and actually do searches for oxidative stress and name almost any um, ailment that you can think of. And most certainly you'll get a hit on that database saying that oxidative stress is involved. So my job up to this point has been to treat all of the body systems with medicines when somebody comes in and has a problem. And some of the examples are in heart uh, at the very top. We're talking about things like hypertension or myocardial infarction or atherosclerosis. If we go all the way at the bottom and talk about the brain, we're talking about things like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. Those folks have gr seven times greater oxidative stress than we do. Uh, it's also implicated in OCD behavior, depression, ADHD, autism, migraines. Similarly, in the lungs, asthma, COPD, and cancer can be involved with the presence of oxidative stress. So up to this point, as a doctor, I've been trained how to use medicine to approach each of these body systems and heal them. For the brain, we can use, say, ADHD medicine for kids who have ADD. For the lung, we may use bronchodilators if you have asthma. But what if we could really focus on the center part here, the circle and the, the spiky uh, red thing that you see there that shows inflammation and oxidative stress. Suppose we can make that smaller. And if we could make that smaller and make it go away, we actually could impact all of the body systems simultaneously. And here's the good news, we can do it because we can increase the cellular production of our internal antioxidants by the use of certain tools if we know what to do. And those three things that I mentioned before, SOD, catalase, and glutathione are our friends here. So how about if we can get them going? Well, you know, we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, Gabe, and all these little stripes here that you see, those are our genes. And our genes code for some very, very miraculous things. They code for really everything that our body does. They code for proteins and enzymes. Well, we know that if you can stimulate certain messenger proteins, such as NRF2 and NRF1, which are not identified as the master regulators of cell protection, we can actually turn on the production of some of those proteins and enzymes, such as glutathione and superoxide dismutase, and bring them back to levels of, say, for example, when we were a kid. And here we are, we're getting older, and what's happening is we're becoming less and less functional. So, in fact, these uh, master regulators, if we can find a way to turn them on, uh, we can be in a better position than we were before. So when you activate that NRF2 protein, you increase, and we know we can, SOD by a factor of 34%. 
And you can also increase catalase by a factor of 54%. I mean, this is, this is huge. You can increase your glutathione by 300% in 120 days. And in everyone who's ever taken an NRF2 agonist or, or, or a synergist such as Protandum NRF2, uh, and I got to say, Protandum is the only one who's ever been shown to do this to this degree. We can reduce our oxidative stress from free radical damage by an amazing 40% in 30 days in every single person who's ever taken it. And that's it was done by studies that were published. Uh, and in ages 20 to, I believe, 70, uh, approximately 70 years of age, uh, with uh, essentially no one being left out. And sometimes as much as 70% if you give it enough time. Uh, this is an amazing piece of detail. So really, your DNA that you are given is not your destiny. You do not have to be destined to fail or destined to maybe only live to age 60 if you're, that was you, what you thought your genetic code coded for. You can beat those odds. And the reason is, is because only 20% of your DNA is expressed at any given time. And 80% of it lies dormant. So you can change the way that your genes are expressed. And when you do that, Gabe, that's what we refer to as biohacking. The option, the other option, which is not as good, is to be hijacked. So you can biohack or you can hijack. When you're hijacked, and we're hijacked every single day, physically through injury or for, through cancer, uh, emotionally through our daily stressors and our jobs, that may be stressful, and then biochemically through our exposure to toxins, radiation, pollutants, and drugs and alcohol. But when you biohack, you're optimizing your genetic potential. You can become the best version of yourself because you've already been given those gifts by your very God who put these products and uh, SOD and glutathione in you. But now what you're doing is you're bringing them up to the levels so that they should be when you were a youngster. And we're doing that with the science of nutrigenomics. And if you think about nutrigenomics you mentioned already, is where you use food and food supplements to essentially talk to your genes. That's what we're doing when we're biohacking. So briefly, let's talk about supplementation, uh, which is what we all have done in the past versus what we're gonna do when we biohack, which is activate. When you supplement, you're just guessing. You're, there's lack of product-specific research. There's lack of quality control. There, there's hundreds of vitamin D tablets out there, hundreds of vitamin C. Do you know really what it's doing to you or how it's helping your genes when you take that? How do you know how much to take? Should you take a vitamin C with a vitamin D? Uh, lots of questions uh, to ask. So because you, you don't know what the end result is, you really are just really playing with it and guessing. And that's what we've been doing up to this point. But with the new science of nutrigenomics, we're using today's breakthroughs for which protandum, NRF2 is one. And then in these peer review published studies and with third party independent funding, that means the, the, the research for, who had absolutely no uh, horse in the race actually were studying this product and found the same things that the uh, peer review studies found. We look at the end result on what the genes and cellular health are, and we use a concept called synergy. And I'd like to refer to the statement, you know, people are fed by the food industry, which pays absolutely no attention to your health, but were treated by me in the health industry and up to this point, I got to say, I had paid absolutely no attention to food, but no longer. Life Vantage seeks to change that paradigm with the little yellow pill, Protandum NRF2 and Protandum NRF1, which is the sister product. So using five, yes, yes, Gabe. No, no, no. I, I thought you were going to head into um, uh, NRF1, but no, if you're not done. Oh, no, not at all. I'm still, I'm still just going to mention what the ingredients were in Protanum NRF2 and why it works. You know, it contains five organic, uh, very pure compounds that come from nature. Turmeric, milk thistle, green tea, bacopa, and ashwagandha root. And when you put those together in the proper portion, which is what Protanum got its patent for times seven, uh, then you actually are able to lower oxidative stress by 40% in under 30 days and significantly reduce the cellular stress that are on your cells by that process of NRF2 pathway activation. It induces enzymes capable of neutralizing more than 1 million, Gabe, 1 million free radicals every second in every single one of your cells times 37 trillion cells. That's an amazing impact. And then it also helps to regulate your survival genes. 
and helps your body repair and rejuvenate its own cells. So this is the, also the only natural supplement that was ever shown in mammal studies to increase lifespan by 7%. So, and the source of that, by the way, is the National Institute of Aging, which is a division of the National Institute of Health. I want to give you the concept here. If you look at this bottom line, uh, if you look at age and you look at the levels of oxidative stress that we incur, if you don't have protandum, look at the red line. That red line keeps climbing. But if you expose those very same people to protandum, and this has been measured, remember now, this is what the research study showed they all go flat to the same level as you might see in a 20 year old. So essentially protanum reduces that oxidative free radical damage by 40 to 70% in everyone. That's got a P value of 0 0.0001, which is for those who are deeks about statistics means that only 0.01% of people ever did not show any improvement. And if you look at this as well, when you put those five compounds together, individually, they only do so much. But when you put them together in the right ratio, again, that's what the patent for ProTandem uh, achieved. You increase its capability by 1,800%, which is 18-fold. So the, um, a couple published uh, articles from the Washington State University said that this was potentially the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative breakthrough in the history of medicine. This was in 2015 that they said that. And I gotta tell you, they're absolutely correct. So that's the concept, Dave, of NRF2 activation. Well, you, you said a couple things. I mean, the hair in the back of my neck is on end. You know, I, I couldn't imagine for the life of me if anybody that's on this webinar and was paying attention to what you just said, wouldn't be running to get this stuff. You know, I've watched this for eight and a half years now, and it's, it's fascinating to be able to finally, you know, put something in your body that gets your body to do what it was meant to do, you know, in the first 20 years of life. And that's simply make more good guys. So some of the notes that I took, uh, you said something very, very profound. You know, you, what sustains us in life actually takes it away like oxygen that was fascinating to me and supplementation versus activation guesswork versus real peer-reviewed science it's it's a no-brainer so um I, I love the fact that we are moving in that direction getting your own body to do its own work and uh, i've been taught oxidative stress is the main biochemical effect of aging and that's what this product does, folks. It reduces the aging and the diseasing process by 40 to 70%. Excellent slides, by the way, Dr. Goodman. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I also would look at NRF2 as sort of, um, think about the concept, if you would, of um, a tuning fork. Uh, we're sort of like a finely tuned piano when we're born. I mean, we have all these keys. Those are our genes. And those genes have a function. And when we are born, they're, they're working beautifully. Everything's very harmonious. And the body is uh, working well and it's producing those NRF2 proteins and survival genes as they should. But you know what? If your piano has been sitting in the attic for 50 years and uh, you know, it's starting to get a little bit uh, moldy and not functioning as well, and those keys now are not quite playing as cleanly. And so now what happens is some of those genes aren't putting out the products that they're designed to put out when we were younger, some are putting out less, some are putting out more. And the ones that are putting out more are putting out ones that are contributing to, let's say, for example, the formation of cancer cells and uh, unchecked replication of cells. And the ones that are putting out less are putting out less glutathione and less SOD. And what ProTandem essentially does is it knocks on the cell's doorbell and it says, hey, wake up here. Uh, let's tune this this uh, piano back to what it was at when you were a youngster and get things to be producing like it was supposed to, uh, and let's recreate our youth. And that's essentially how I like to look at ProTandem, essentially a tuning fork for an aged piano. And if you're young, you know, you always need to keep your piano in tune. You don't want it to get out of tune. 
Well, I tell you what, I, I love that. Let's walk right into another pathway, NRF1. Okay, I'll be happy to talk about the sister product to Protanum NRF2. Uh, to understand that, we're going to talk about mitochondrial function or dysfunction. Uh, this is a really fascinating story. You know, the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, uh, is uh, a very, very important subparticle in every single one of our cells. Many of our cells have hundreds of these, and especially ones that involve the heart and the brain. There's very metabolically active cells. Uh, we need them in order to survive. And almost every metabolic uh, process that takes place in the body, like in this slide, which is absolutely overwhelming, uh, is created in the mitochondria. Uh, those are also affected. If you look at the very left-hand side of this slide, you see that mitochondria is also being damaged by free radicals. So not only is your DNA damaged, but your mitochondria are being damaged. And so when that happens, those free radicals act like little miniature hurricanes inside our cells. They not only destroy the nucleus where the DNA is, but they destroy the mitochondria. And in doing so, they drop your metabolism, possibly at even half of what it normally should be, and hence your energy production also drops. So when you have that, so here if this is your cell and you have these three mitochondria as an example, and then all of a sudden here's the cell left with no powerhouse at all. Well, that cell is destined to die, folks. It's going nowhere. It's going to implode and disappear. And so essentially it's been destroyed from the inside out. And so if you destroy that, the mitochondria that drop down, what happens is your metabolism falls. And when your metabolism falls, you have decreased energy. And what happens when we get older, Gabe? We gain weight. And with decreased energy, you also heal less well. And lastly, your thinking and emotional state, your tendency towards depression or clarity of thought and decreasing your concentration are affected. So NRF1 reverses that. It activates the NRF1 protein. It increases the number of mitochondria. It also protects those mitochondria that are there from further damage by um, oxidative stress. It supports your cells rejuvenation back to the original state. It supports ATP energy formation, which all of our cells need in order to survive. And it also improves brain function, heart function, as I mentioned, and blood cell formation. And it does this through improving your cellular metabolism. So between the two of those, which are two components of the vitality stack, the one-two punch, as we like to say, uh, this is responsible for a large measure of our well-being. Absolutely fascinating. I mean, you know, getting your own body to do its own work, it's the direction that everything is moving, and it feels so good to have – just to have the privilege, Dr. Goodman, on being able to pioneer this new paradigm in health called nutrigenomics. And uh, folks, um, I know Dr. Goodman is, is, is getting into the weeds, you know, with this science. Don't think for one second, you know, that you need to be able to, you know, repeat word by word on what he is saying. Um, this is something that we all have and we all share with one another to be able to educate uh, everyone. So all I did to get to the top of this company was point guide direct people to an ABC primetime news piece and put them on the phone with somebody smarter than me. So let's get into uh, the probiotic. I think one of my favorite products. Okay. Well, uh, Gabe, you know, and I hope this isn't getting too crazy for people, but I really do love talking about the science. And I think if people really appreciate what we are creating, what Life Vantage has done for people to hit these four legs of wellness, I mean, we have an incredible potential to essentially heal ourselves on four different levels. And it's just essentially, we're trying to make it simple for people. This is a great starting point for people who want to begin to biohack and people who want to improve their condition. So if we talk real briefly about probio, essentially what is, what is a probiotic? Probiotic are essentially bacteria. Uh, we're talking about gut bacteria that live in us. You know, we have good bacteria and we have bad bacteria that live in our gut. And they are in balance with one another. If you have an upset in that balance because of, say, eating something bad for your system, uh, taking too much, uh, say, eating too much sugar, or taking an antibiotic that you might have needed for a sinus infection, you're essentially destroying the balance of that microbiome, and it needs to be restored back to its original state. And the reason is, and this is, this is an incredible statement, 
statement, uh, and I want everybody to hear this, that believe it or not, if we were to take every single bacteria from our gut and distill it, the DNA and put it in a beaker, there would be more of the bacterial DNA than there would be of our own DNA. That is to say, then, that there's more of the bacteria in our body than there is of us. And if you don't think that probiotics then are important, uh, then you've got, uh, you're, you're mistaken. I mean, we need a healthy microbiome. So the biome, the microbiome, those bacteria also talk. Uh, just like our brain cells send out signals and neurotransmitters, they're communicating with each other as well. And so if they're sending out neurotransmitters and the balance is wrong, and of course they sit in our gut, and what's our gut designed to do, Gabe? It's designed to absorb things. That's how we get our nutrients. Well, guess what? They're absorbing those neurotransmitters. And because they're absorbed into our system and affect us, we could refer to our gut as the second brain. And many scientists do. So we really need it to be in good shape for us to feel well. So if you have inflammation and a leaky gut, it can affect your emotions, uh, can lead to depression and anxiety. It can even affect your memory. And to be honest, we know about this in my field of autism and Down syndrome, that those kids have leaky guts. And, and we know that it has an impact on their ability to mentate. And one other thing to mention, Gabe, is that the gut is also home to 70% of your immune system. If there's a problem there, you're not going to be healthy. So what ProBio essentially tries to do is it tries to give you 6 billion colony forming units, I mean 6 billion bacteria that are helpful strains, not hurtful strains. And it does this via a concept called the BioTrack delivery system. This is the only probiotic that has this. You know, if you were to take a, another probiotic that's a powder or a liquid, or say eat a lot of yogurt, essentially none of that makes it to your, through your gut, uh, through your stomach. By the time it hits the stomach acid, it's completely destroyed. Only 4% of those bacteria ever make it. But with this concept, 60% is delivered to the intestine where it can do its work and where it can restore the gut health. And also it includes Wellmune, which is uh, helpful for your improved immune response for those cells. So you can quickly respond to threats uh, that are put upon you on an everyday basis. So that's the concept of the gut brain microbiome and also the second brain. Uh, and the importance of bacteria in our, in our health. Folks, the only thing I think that you really need to understand uh, about this probiotic is what Dr. Goodman just said. You know, uh, what you've been buying on the store shelves because it's not encapsulated, it's not timed release, only 4% is getting where it needs to be. And the science behind this technology with this probiotic is 60% gets to where it needs to be. You know, so enough said. I mean, it, you, you can't ask for anything better than that. Okay, Dr. Goodman, I know we're getting pressed for time. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about the Mega Plus. All right, we're well, going to run right through this real quick and just know that you need omegas for your brain and you need them for your heart and you need them for your muscle. Omega-3s, which are included in this last component of the vitality stack, the last of the core four, is there to make healthy brain membranes, muscles, and joints. It lowers your cholesterol. It improves your cellular communication pathways between your brain and your muscle. It's anti-cancer and anti-diabetes. I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't want to take this and have it in your system. And it also includes omega-7s, which are anti-inflammatory and anti-diabetes. And for a last kicker, it puts the mother of all vitamins in the product as well, so you don't have to take it separately. And you need vitamin D3 for your bones, muscle, immunity, as well as for protecting prostate and breast health. So this, is, uh, these, uh, this product is fabulous. It contains the proper ratio of DHA to EPA, essentially the same as what was in mother's breast milk. And, uh, you know, which essentially met, went to form your brain. Uh, the product is 100% traceable. It's not rancid. There's no fish smell, not like a traditional probiotic that you put in your mouth and it smells bad. The reason it smells bad is because it's rotten. And you don't want to put rotten fish oil in your body. It smells bad. It gives you fish indigestion and you don't want to take it. Uh, so essentially, uh, this is trace one. You can, uh, like, like this little girl here, this is Dr. Charlisa Hudson, who's a neurologist, little girl, 
Uh, and uh, she said to her mom, she likes to bite into these things. They taste so good because there's no fish burps and no fish smell. So Gabe, that's that's it on the on the Omega Plus. You've got the four components or the four legs, the four core four that you need for health and wellness and and uh, and good being. Well, thank you.